it is the Charming Giraffe. And today we are going to fill in these cracks with the uh, silver again. I do have a few more paintings that will be doing the same technique too, using different colors. So those will be coming up if they're not already posted. Um, this is using a fine tip applicator. And um, these bottles are just this bottle. And then you buy the tip separately. Um, so what I plan to do in the future, because the last time I used this bottle, I just left this on here, but my plan is, and it looks like it cleans itself out pretty well. I just shook it, so that's in the, the cap there, but is to actually take this off, clean it, and then just put the cap back on and store it that way. And so that way, whenever I need to do a new painting, if it's, if it's ones that are in this type of bottle, I can just grab the tip, put it on the bottle, do the project, wash it out, and then it's ready for the next time. Uh, we are actually going to use this one first. So uh, that's why I chose to go ahead and do it first. I don't have to clean it twice. <laughs> and then whenever I'm ready to do the next one, I will clean it and use the new color. So that's the new plan for that. Uh, this was a painting I did a while back, uh, quite a while ago actually, and it did crack here. And it took me a while to decide on the color, but I did just settle on the silver. This is um, Artist Law Flow Acrylic Silver. On here so we'll go ahead and get started I'll speed you up through this process because it will take a while but we'll come back for the close-up okay so the phone um, malfunctioned there's not enough space so in the middle of recording it it stopped recording and corrupted the file so <laughs> this is it still wet I just finished it um, luckily there will be plenty more of these videos to come uh, but this is what it looks like wet so far I will uh, get started on another video soon for you, um, but we're going to let this dry and then we'll come back for the final close-up once it's completed. So I'll see you in just a bit. Alright, here we are for the dry close-up. I do like the way that this has dried. Um, I'm really excited. Let's see here. Um, the silver seemed to take really well. You can't see that underneath color at all, which the one I had done before in the silver was the the same. I didn't have any bleed through or anything. After I did this, I was like, maybe I should have used gold instead because um, there's like all these like earthier tones over here, but then over here I think the, the silver works out well. So maybe in, um, the next time I have a painting that's kind of both light and dark, I will uh, mix it up. Like maybe in this one, if this was a, if I hadn't done it yet, like maybe do silver in some of these lighter areas and gold in some of the darker areas and see how that diversity um, helps the piece. But I am happy with it. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and it makes you happy.